What's up, dorks? So today, I wanted to give y'all a little funny little story. I was scrolling on the gram ski or whatever, and I saw this post. All right, who you got? LeBron with two years of training or Mike Tyson in his prime? Who would win? Clearly, that's like a joke. A very sarcastic post, because obviously, Mike Tyson could knock out any human ever. I was like, okay, let me go on my Instagram and see if people understand, like, the concept of sarcasm. They didn't. I said, I put all my money on LeBron. No brainer. Uh, I'm... We do like comedy, right, on the channel? It's like, we're like the joke guys. I thought we were. I could be wrong. Now, no. what percentage of people do you think understood that joke that I put on my thing? I wanna hope at least 80% got it, and 20% it went over their head. All I got in the responses was, you gotta be the stupidest person I've ever seen in my entire life. Did you get any that were like, LMAO? I got like, a few. So majority were people that didn't get it. Yes. People in replies, why? Please state your case. Actually about to unsub. With all due respect, put the meth down. That's so cap. You gotta be one of the most stupid people I've ever seen. Against prime Mike Tyson though, are you sure? And it's funny the people tossing out the, you're stupid, you're stupid, and it's like, bruh. Oh my God. And look, how old are these kids? Then again, it was actually some people who were like, you're not an infant. Let's say they are all young. Y'all gotta learn sarcasm early then. Yeah, or come like, on man, like. Today's where it ends, like. I'm a big fan, but Mike is one of the greatest fighters. That's one of the most dumbest things ever. Then he sends his voice message. How would LeBron James with two years of training versus Mike Tyson in his prime? Let's not forget that he's in his prime. Even if LeBron James had four years, Mike Tyson would still win because Mike Tyson is considered one of the greatest boxers ever and he wouldn't lose to a basketball player. That makes no sense whatsoever. I'm sorry, I'm a big fan, but that is the most dumbest thing I have ever heard in my entire life. And part of me wants to be the bigger person and be like, hey, they're just kidding. Kids. They just don't get sarcasm, but there's no way you thought I was serious. There's no way the no-brainer part did that not click It's a no-brainer and someone sat there and thought what is Ryan thinking? What is he thinking? Of course he would beat LeBron. How does Rhino not know that? How could he really believe that? I don't think it's too crazy of a mental gymnastic to like think hmm Rhino like is a college graduate Be doing the YouTube videos Surely he would know that Mike Tyson is a better boxer than LeBron James So if you had a big hole in your pants and I said nice pants Noah, he would know he doesn't actually think I have nice pants He's being sarcastic because there's a large hole mm -hmm. so my pants aren't nice It's not just kids who don't understand sarcasm sarcasm as I've learned recently. I was out at a function talking to a group of people. This guy said, oh, you look like so-and-so. I get compared to a lot of people, <laughs> whatever. He compared me to some guy and then I said, oh yeah, I see that. Like I normally get compared to ASAP Rocky, like visually, Michael B. Jordan, I've gotten that a few times. Clearly being sarcastic because ASAP Rocky is like a really handsome poster child for the perfect looking black man. Michael B. Jordan, same thing. And then the guy goes, wait, what? How is that pop? Why would someone say that? ASAP Rocky, he's not even the, you're not even the same skin color. Whew. They were our age. I didn't even want to tell him like, hey bro, it was a joke. So I was like, ah. Yeah. In the slide after that, I put a quote about how people who don't understand sarcasm aren't as smart. It makes your brain have to do a little bit more work. It's like problem solving. So what's even more interesting is that our ability to detect sarcasm also says something about our IQ. Studies have shown that exposure to sarcasm enhances creative problem solving. They also found that the brain works even better when it gets sarcasm. Scientists who have monitored the electrical activity of the brain of test subjects exposed to sarcastic statements have found that the brain have to do much harder work to understand sarcasm so that's just a fancy way of saying you're an idiot if you don't understand so I'm just oh, I'm trying to educate people moving forward if someone gets it they get it if they don't you gotta just let them rock if they don't get it the joke wasn't for them yep all I know is that I look like ASAP Rocky so <laughs> me and Noah are big fans of excuse me, Noah and I smart guy smart guy no, I'm not an idiot Andrew Schultz funniest comedian ever. Him, Dave Chappelle, for me personally. There's this clip of him combating a heckler who didn't get the joke, and it's basically the same type of thing. Stuff that he gets to say that I don't really get to say, but we'll play the clip real quick because it's very timely of what I just talked about. What's that, sweetheart? You're not smart. <laughs> I don't think you're smart. I don't think you're smart. If you were smart, you would know that's what's funny about the joke. That's the exact thing that's funny about the joke. But I think your math brain isn't creative enough to understand humor. No, no, I'm being serious. No, no. I'm being, I don't think your brain is made for humor. It's not everybody. I'm sure you're really good at engineering. No, you're really good at engineering, 
ruining other people's nights. That's fair. And look, there is a place to go if you don't like humor. It's, no, you shouldn't go to hell. Why would you go to hell? That's for funny people. You're not gonna ruin our time in hell too? How dare you, bitch? You gonna follow me to fucking hell, bitch? It's so funny, like, some people's brains don't get why things are funny. It's those type of people who we have to kind of encounter all the time. Like when you make a joke, you gotta worry about the people. Well, that's not funny. Or people who just, the joke just over their head. I'm kind of losing my faith a little bit in the people. Like life don't gotta be serious all the time. That linear way of thinking. Mm-hmm. Rhino said, LeBron can beat Mike Tyson? Rhino, you're an idiot. You live a little. Dude, so that was the joke. Uh, fun, I do comedy on my channel. But that's why we love our audience members who do get it. People should have been like, first round, LeBron. First round, bro, people were saying like, they were like, facts. And I was like, let's go. Go along with it. The moral of the story is live a little and like things aren't always what they seem at face value. Like try to have a little bit of self-awareness. I don't know. That's Rhino spaz for the day. Oh, this expired a year ago, bro. What is it? All right, we trying to film in this little classroom we rented out. It's in this cute little, what is this, Rob Carey? This is like the first scene of a Saw movie is what it is. American English. American English college for people that want to learn English. Look at this, outdated. We're like, oh, let's get a snack before we film. 08, 09, 20. Ain't it 2021? It's definitely 2021. And I was like, oh, let me get like a nice refreshing 7-Up. But first of all, it's warm. But what is it? How long has that been in the vent? machine. They don't make this design no more. What design is it? 1980s? This might be worth money. Bro, this thing said cold drinks. But this thing ain't even turned on. Bro, why is it, it has oxidizing like the Statue of Liberty? It has COVID on it. Dude, nuclear war. Yo, 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 oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> You know what you're drinking at. I feel like I gotta sanitize it first. Should I try it? I don't know the danger of drinking old soda. It just tastes flat, like not flavorful. This is I have never seen the word. Because they're teaching English here. I have never seen the word, but I'm not sure. Yeah, it's a school for foreign exchange students, I'm guessing. I understand the word when I see or hear it in a sentence. I heard that English was one of the hardest languages to learn. That and like Chinese or something. But I know it, so I guess that means I'm super smart. Oh, in every class, I would sit in the back. You know, I wasn't always a back seater. Well, I would sit in the front. Some classes I didn't care about, but for the most part, I was like, I just like kicking in the back. I'll still pay attention here and there. I would fail even if I sat in the front. So like, in order to pass, I had to do my best, try to pay attention and give myself the best chance of passing. You all sit in the front or the back? Tell us. You guys remember the desks where it was like rectangle and you would be able to lift it up and have stuff inside? We had the ones where it was just yeah. open. That's some California shit. We did not have that. So we didn't film any behind the scenes stuff. We got in the moment, we filmed a banger. Oh shit. Why Escalator gang, we going up. Did you guys know, here's a fun fact. The light bulb was such a good idea that it became the symbol for a good idea. Think about that for a minute. We're at uh, the Grove right now in LA. A little congested still. Congestion is weird. Sinuses. How is my head clogged up right now? My ears, whatever. I'm getting over it. I don't have COVID by the way. We just ate at the Cheesecake Factory. We were all just said this, like I feel like I got a high off the food or something. Food coma. I got the itis. Getting really sleepy and I don't want to move at all. I don't know, we're at the Grove. We barely get out. Let's just walk around for a second. Ryan is the funniest person I know. He be going through phases and stages every week. You all know this already. A couple weeks ago, he was like, oh, I'm just gonna be minimal just wear like one color, a couple colors, black. Today, what did he say? He was like, oh, I'm gonna get new wardrobe and change up my style. I'm gonna buy a whole bunch of new clothes. So he's in there buying some new clothes that he probably won't even wear. So we'll keep you posted on what happens then. So it looks like he didn't get anything. Oh shit, Rob, it's good. You watch the videos? Yeah. Oh shit, you're a fan. Yeah. What's your favorite video? Uh, Apple, uh, the Apple guy. Oh, um, Rob, uh, the Rob Jobs videos. Have you seen any of the other ones? Um, I seen like the Apple ones. Oh, uh, just those ones? Yeah. Can we get a picture? Yeah, we can do that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. We thought you were gonna buy something. One of my favorite stores is Sandro Paris. So I was like, I gotta go in the store. So I did. So I didn't buy anything. And what do y'all think about the fitted hat Ryan's wearing? Hey, with thoughts? I think he could pull off the fitteds. I've never had a fitted hat fit me properly, but somehow Rob's head seemed to mold this perfectly. He said he's giving me the hat. Well, I, I didn't say that. <sighs> this is a new era. No cap. We're fitted. It's a bar. Y'all wouldn't get that though. It's just a bar.